Hello and welcome to Coffee Breaks with Nebraska Strong Recovery Project. Today we are going to be discussing wellness, but before we get started, I just want to note that we work with many agencies, public and private, for-profit, non-profit, religious organizations, government and non-government organizations. As we are a community partnership organization, Nebraska Strong Recovery Project does not endorse any programs, services, or specific agencies. With that, I would like to introduce Beth, who works in wellness and is going to be teaching us today about um, correlations between wellness and managing stress after disaster. Beth, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. So, we talked a little bit earlier before we started the show and kind of broke wellness down into three key parts. So we've got nutrition, exercise, mm -hmm. and sleep, right? Right. Important points on nutrition. Yeah, so with nutrition, um, you know, it's the basic food group um, to, to structure your meals. So there's five food groups. Um, so what you want to focus on is fresh fruits and vegetables when that's available. Um, lean sources of meat um, or protein, fish, you know, <laughs> but, um, you know, low fat, dairy, um, whole grains, you know, those are the things we want to focus on when we're um, building meals, you know, trying to get all five food groups into each meal mm -hmm. if that's possible. Um, when you're, uh, you know, particularly during the flooding that was happening here, that can make the nutritional quality of your meals um, kind of fall down yeah. on the on the list of priorities, um, but we, I think that's, it's so important that even when that's not the main focus, um, mm -hmm. we're worried about whether or not we have enough food, we also need to worry about do we have nutritional quality mm -hmm. um, in the food that we're consuming, um, because it can be a very stressful time and stress eating is a real thing. Let's acknowledge that, that's, um, that's a challenge. Mm -hmm. um, but so then really focusing on when you're able to make choices for your meals, um, that you're focusing on building meals out of those healthy components of the fresh fruits and mm -hmm. vegetables, whole grains. Um, but sometimes that, that's not going to be an option. You know, if we're um, somebody who doesn't have a home anymore, uh, you know, when they're living in um, a shelter and relying on community meals, and so maybe you don't have that option. But um, in general, building around those and, and doing healthy mm -hmm. meals. Because if you're not eating well, you're going to notice how you feel physically. And, and so it can be difficult if you're not feeding yourself um, appropriately to get the physical activity that you need. Um, and you mentioned exercise, and so I'm just going to say there's a difference between exercise and physical activity. Mm -hmm. I just want to use those terms. We use them um, separately because physical activity, everything that you do throughout the day that's physically active, not okay. just lying in your bed. Okay, so, yeah. Um, so uh, those are the activities of daily living is what they're called. And so, you know, you're, um, you're grocery shopping, you're cleaning your home, you're um, washing your car, raking leaves, all those things that you do um, that um, keep you up and, and moving right throughout the day. Um, that would be physical activity. And the recommendation is to get 30 minutes of physical activity every oh, day. Oh, okay. So, but, you know, moderate. Mm -hmm. um, to vigorous physical activity to maintain health um, and you know to maintain weight that's that's mm -hmm. the recommendation and exercise I think for most people when we think about exercise we think about that as I'm cu cutting out time of my day and structuring a time where I'm going to run or walk or um, and and sometimes if we say exercise and people get caught into that thought of that means I have to go to the gym and I don't I can't afford a gym membership right, right. Or I don't have equipment I can, you mm -hmm. know I can't afford those kinds of things and so um, so when I'm doing education I'm very careful to say that it's it's physical activity and your exercise fits in to mm -hmm. that physical activity um, and so if you love to go out and walk and you want to walk 30 minutes a day that's great um, but for some people that sounds terrible yeah um, or it's not doable there's right. so many things happening and so it doesn't have to be 30 minutes all in one shot it can be five minutes and you gave me a great example when we were talking earlier about um, when you leave work don't just go right to your car but go walk around the parking lot mm -hmm. a little bit um, and particularly now when we don't have as much sunlight here you know it can be really great to go out on those days even when it's really cold bundle up everywhere else um, but leave some skin exposed and go out and get some of that sunlight that yeah. you need 
just for a few minutes and, and you know the, those days right. when there's a disclaimer that it's so cold your skin freezes maybe not those maybe, days maybe but, not those days yeah I'm valid right <laughs> right but you know when it's safe to do so mm -hmm. you know going outside and getting some fresh air um, is really beneficial to um, just your emotional well-being not just your physical well-being mm -hmm. but um, emotionally also so finding things that you that you enjoy doing um, because I I like to grocery shop and dance mm -hmm. and they have music at the grocery store Love it. <laughs> so, that's glorious so it's not just that I'm um, doing something I need to do is I need to mm -hmm. get groceries but I'm, I'm physically active while I'm doing this but I'm adding a little bit more to it um, and I it makes me smile when I'm doing this because when it, it feels good it's something different but it makes me smile even more when I think people are probably looking at this <laughs> strange lady dancing in the grocery store you're probably and making other people's days as well I hope so I hope <laughs> that I am I hope that that the sight of me dancing at the store which I do not have great dance moves is <laughs> helps somebody else's day also um, but it, the interesting thing too is that if you're not eating healthy um, and and it's hard to want to go and exercise and you feel sluggish and maybe you just think oh, I don't want to get up and do any kind of activity I'm just gonna sit mm -hmm. um, but we know that if you get up and move that that's going to invigorate you and you're going to right. um, you know usually what I say is set like a small goal so my goal is I'm gonna um, walk for two minutes once you get up and move you may find that two minutes is nothing and you're able to do five right. or ten right. minutes um, so so that's great and the benefit to being physically active with our stress levels is huge also huge. so um, you know stress impacts our ability to sleep which is our other mm -hmm. component of wellness and so if we're not doing things that are going to help us reduce the impact that stress has on us then it's going to make things more difficult at night mm -hmm. when we need to go to bed at night and mm -hmm. get sleep or whenever you need to sleep whenever you're you know right you have different shifts of work right. so whatever right. your time frame is for your sleep you know mm -hmm. eight hours for adults um, can be hard if we have all these other distractions and that stress that we haven't been able to to reduce in other ways right well and I think you made a good point <clears throat> excuse me you made a really good point earlier that you know if you're not getting up and being active and you're just kind of I just I'm just gonna you know be one with the couch for a while and chill mm -hmm. but really if you do that all day long you're and you're you know resting and you don't necessarily need that much rest yeah. you actually sleep way worse and you feel more tired mm -hmm. which again I feel more tired I don't want to prep meals I don't want to try to figure out what's going to be more balanced um, you know get some physical activity and overall that is going to increase stress and emotional drain and then you know sometimes how you react to those stressful things right and then it kind of turns into an ugly cycle right and then we lay in bed and think about all of the things that we find stressful and that makes it even more difficult for us to get to sleep mm -hmm. so it's interesting how all of these all three of these factors kind of work together and you know if you have proper nutrition and you're um, you know getting that recommended 30 minutes of physical activity every day and being purposeful with your sleep mm -hmm. and turning off all the distractions then yeah um, all of those things can really play into your ability to cope with a stressful situation right that's fantastic information Beth thank you so much for joining me and just teaching us about wellness and that it breaks down into some simple things and it doesn't have to be everything all at once but you're gonna see that while wellness making poor choices in those areas can be a domino effect that you know leaves you feeling more stressed and sucked into things as you start to make those positive choices it's a domino effect in the other direction to where you feel like you're more capable of managing your stress um, you're gonna feel better and as you're working through you know what's happened what you need to deal with next after disaster um, you're gonna have more bandwidth or capacity to deal with those things so thank you again this has been fantastically educational and thank you for tuning in join us next time on coffee breaks with nebraska's trauma recovery project